Hello, welcome back to Gillette Camp Messing Around Week. We will be doing something really, really fun and messy today. It is acrylic pouring and it's with paint. So today, well first my name's Molly, I'm a child life specialist here at Gillette. And I'm Courtney, I'm one of the other child life specialists. Perfect, so materials needed. First and foremost, you want a tablecloth like we have here because like I said, it's gonna get super messy. Yep. So and maybe some clothes you don't really mind getting dirty. Yes, or because apron. acrylic paint does not come out of clothing. Nope. Unfortunately. Oh. And then gloves, so we will put those on. And then what you will have is acrylic paints. Um, any colors, we are doing four to five today. So we have our fun colors here that we picked out. Mm -hmm. And we will need pouring medium. And you can get this at like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any kind of craft store. You will want spoons or popsicle sticks to stir. Plastic cups mm -hmm. and a canvas. Okay. This. Yes. This is should this, this should be an example of what it is. It's trip. very beautiful. Our friend Marissa made it, our co-worker who <laughs> came up with all these fun activities. This matches kind of like our theme of the green and the blue for Camp Gillette yes. on our shirts. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Hopefully ours turns out that good. I hope so. We're going for that. Okay, so to get started, we are first going to pour our paints into the cup. Mm -hmm. And you want to start out with, mm, I would say, about half an inch high on your cup. Um, your parents can help you too to figure that out. Mm -hmm. So we will start by shaking up our paints. Make sure they're all mixed. And then pour it in. So what kind of theme did you go with? Just lots of bright colors? I'm going with like a summer theme, kind of like a sunset or a sunrise. Okay, I love it. Okay, so okay. we got first color. Now Molly, are you just doing all your colors first and then doing your medium? Yes. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Molly, what's your favorite color? Mine is purple. Purple? What's Love yours? It. Mine's blue. Ooh, I don't yeah. even think I have purple in my <laughs> pour, my acrylic pour today. And you don't have blue. I don't. <laughs> we don't even have our favorite color. We're branching out. That's good. Usually I'm very prone to just sticking with my favorite colors. And we're trying something new today. This is good. New day, new us. New day, new us. <laughs> <laughs> also, friends, you've got to make sure you have acrylic paint. And I think that's the only kind that works with this kind of project. Yep. Okay. So I think I have lady. the right amount. Just took the cap off. I know it wasn't coming out too fast. <laughs> so we have our paint colors and next I'm going to shake up my medium. And this will get it to be a little bit more liquidy. The kind of consistency that you want is like honey. So I'm going to pour about the same amount of medium as I have paint. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait for you. No, you're so good. Because I know you're following my lead today. <laughs> yeah, friends, Molly made, has made this before. This is my first time, so I'm super excited to see how this turns out. I think it's going to turn out beautifully. I'm pumped. Okay. Last one. Okay. And then two, I'll explain this further, but you always want to start out with your lightest color when combining all the paints. But we'll go over that once we are there. All right, Molly. Okay. I'm ready. So now get your medium. Okay. Shake it up a bit. Shake it up. And now you want to add the same amount of medium as you have paint. Okay. Sounds good. So I just kind of... So we'll kind of take a eyeball yep. of what you have in the cup before you start pouring in. And then I'm going to stir it. You can see it gets a little bit more liquid and you'll keep stirring. It won't change the color of your acrylic paints at all, but it'll just get it to be a little bit more watery. Kind of handy if your cup has little ridges on it too. Yes, absolutely. All right. Lots of stirring. 
wonder if the color will come off the popsicle stick. If you it want. totally does. Oh, nice. I was going to say, you can use different Oops. popsicle sticks for each color, too. And warning, if you have colored ones, it will turn it <laughs> colored. <laughs> I love it. Well, here's your purple then, Molly. <laughs> you can have one of my purple oh, popsicle yeah. sticks. Thanks for having my favorite color. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen during your Camp Gillette crafts, you guys. It's like a it, lot of experiments. It is. We're always up for a surprise. Learning <laughs> as we go here <laughs> makes it more fun. Mm. How's your your consistency? Is Pretty it turning good. out good? Yeah. Okay. So Molly, if it's not super honey-like or sticky, should yep. we add more? Or do you think? I feel like as long as it's a little bit thinner than how the paint was originally, mm -hmm. you're good. Okay, sounds good. But like I said, we're just learning as we go here, so <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I love it. I'm up That's for a how surprise. I like surprises. Yeah. Okay. So once we get yeah. them all oh stirred God, up. This orange acrylic paint is pretty thick. I'm gonna add a little bit more to mine. Good call. And less is more, friends. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. So start with a little and then go from there. That's a little better. What do you think, Molly? Is that too thick? I would add a little bit more of the yeah. medium, yep. See, friends, that one's a little thick. And when we get to the point where we're pouring it onto our canvas, we don't want it to just sit there. We want it to pour, pour over the canvas. To make sure your paint's ready to pour. That looks like it's better already. Love it. Much better. Okay. All right. So now, as I was saying before, you want to start with your lightest color that you have of paint. And you're going to take a popsicle sticks. And you're going to pour the rest of the paint colors into the lightest one. So. I'm gonna start and just kind of layers on top. <laughs> and if you have a spoon too, that might be helpful to kind of get the rest of the paint stuck on the bottom of the cup. I'll line mine up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You are prepared. I'm gonna do pink next. Okay. I did a gold color too. I'm excited to see how that turns out. Oops. Well, I got it on the side, so we'll see how that turns out. I know, it might make a different pattern, which Ooh. is fun. I'm gonna add a little bit more to this one. Never too late. All right. This popsicle stick is so funny. It's super, what do you think? Is that too thick? I think as long as it's coming out, I think it's fine. We'll, we'll as see. As long as it's coming out. <laughs> as long as it's pouring out, okay. I think it will be thin enough. Sounds good. Okay. I orange. love that neon color. Uh, isn't that fun? That's awesome. Super happy. wonder what kind of colors our friends are choosing. You can hang these up in like your bedroom or give them as a gift mm -hmm. to your parents or siblings or friends. I wonder if you could write on it too at the end. Like oh, once yeah. Once it's dry. You could write yeah, on. you totally could with like a permanent marker. Word. Something inspirational. Okay. okay. So once you have it all poured in, don't stir it. Mm -hmm. And instead you're going to have four cups to hold up the canvas while we pour it over. Depending on the size of your canvas, you might need more cups. And now we're going to lay the canvas flat. I'm gonna get up just because I feel like it might get a little bit messy. And then we're gonna hold the cup as tight as we can. And we're gonna set it down. And then we're slowly gonna lift oh my up gosh. the cup. I'm excited. Woo! Oh. By slowly, I mean super fast. <laughs> you had some vacuum on that. And That's so pretty. Then you can kind of swirl it around oh like that. 
It looks super cool. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Kind of reminds me of cotton candy. Oh, yes. <laughs> and the fair is coming up. That's true. Okay, okay. so cool. Super cool. Okay. okay. Ready? Yep. I'm gonna go. <gasps> Do I remove my hand first and yep. put it on? Yep, okay. I would set it down. Okay, I'm gonna set it down. Get it all situated. Oh yeah, that does get a little vacuum. Ooh, look at those bright colors. So fun. Okay. Oh my goodness. Super cool. It looks like there's a star in the center almost. <laughs> it kind of does. Very cool. So fun. Fun. And you guys should probably set these somewhere where you don't mind having them sit for a while because it'll probably take a day or two to dry. Yes. I would say give it a good 24 hours for yeah. sure. <laughs> Sweet. So fun. What are you going to do with yours? Oh man, I don't know. I feel like I might write on it and put like an inspirational quote yeah, on it. Yeah, I love it. I think I'm going to put my, or you my put your here. name on it. Yeah. Cool. You guys. Perfect. Super fun. Well, yeah. I hope that you guys are having as much fun as we did. This is so cool. All right, we will see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for joining.